Hello, Dalia. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. Shall we explain what okay. we're doing to the people um, who haven't listened before? <laughs> yes, why don't you explain? <laughs> so I just said hello to Steph in a foreign language and she has to work mm. out which one it is. I think it's she Hebrew. should be able to... Yes, well done. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. Yeah, that was a good one. Very good, yeah. I do live in um, Hendon, Collendale area of uh, London, which is a very, has a big Jewish community. So, oh, of course. Yeah, mm, yeah. I'm not Jewish, but a lot of people around me are. So I do know Shalom and also obviously from films and stuff, you know. Mm. So do you actually hear yeah. that around you, like in shops and stuff? Sometimes. Well, I mean, obviously I haven't been in, in a shop properly in a while. <laughs> you haven't but seen yes. Civilization for a long time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Although, excitingly, we're now officially out of lockdown in Woo-hoo. in the UK. Woo-hoo. Do you know what? So Actually, that's great. My dad said to me yesterday, um, he said, oh, I went to Starbucks today. And I said, what do you mean you went to Starbucks? It's lockdown. <laughs> and he said, no, lockdown's over. And I said, no, lockdown's over on Thursday. And he said it was the confusion with midnight. Oh. So I was still thinking it was lockdown today. Sorry, yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Oh my God, I've lost track of time. All the days are merging into <laughs> one, basically, yeah. Yeah, actually, I was unsure about that. I wasn't sure whether, because they said the last day of lockdown is, is the Wednesday. And I was thinking, does that mean Wednesday is still lockdown? Or exactly, confusion. What? Yeah, so anyway, didn't didn't do much on Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> or today, really. <laughs> but um, I'm going to a restaurant on Saturday. I'm really excited. Wow, so Going you're like re- really taking advantage of the end of lockdown. Yes, definitely, <laughs> yes. I'm going to go and have some nice dim sum, which is my favourite thing ever. Wow. So, um, super excited. Obviously not with any friends who I haven't seen in months. <laughs> I'm going with my fiancé, so <laughs> that we'll sounds call it lovely. date night. Date night. I'm going to yeah, buy yeah. all of the unessential things that I couldn't buy during lockdown. <laughs> Are you? Such as? Yeah. Plant pots. Plant pots. Are you yeah. a keen gardener then? Um, not really. I've done the classic thing. I've, I've got the plants which are very difficult to kill in my room. Oh. Some cacti. Cacti. And some okay. Succulents. <laughs> succulents. But they've actually <laughs> outgrown. You knew what I was going to say, didn't you? I did. I did. <laughs> succulents. <laughs> But they're like outgrowing like their little pots. They're like teenagers now. They're growing. So they need Aww. bigger pots. Cute. Yeah. Really cute. <laughs> I also like bonsai trees. They're super cute, aren't they? Like the little bonsais. I actually had one, but managed to kill it. Oh my goodness, so did I. <laughs> Left it for there like a week without any water. And it oh, no. never, I never came back. <laughs> I oh, really? watered mine, yeah. Oh, okay. You gave it too much love. <laughs> too much <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny um okay well let's get into our podcast topic shall we yes so we're going to kind of continue on from last week where we were talking about the differences between american and british english mm. um obviously as we said there's loads of things to say so that's why we're making a part two this week yes. um Last week, we kind of focused mainly on vocabulary, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so perhaps this week, we can focus on some other aspects, such as spelling. Because spelling. that's... Um, yeah. That's... Yeah, there's quite a few differences, I would say, um, between are, the two. Yeah. Um, the main one, I think, or the one that people, like students, ask most about is... Um, when you have a, a word ending in like either I Z E or I S E, yeah, um, the famous Z. Which, which one's American? Yeah, which one's American? Mm. Which one's British? So, which one is the one that we use in Britain? So we use I S E. Yeah. So the way we would say that is eyes. Mm. But the Americans use I Z E, but of course. As usual, there are some exceptions. Sometimes in British English, we do use a Z. Well, this is where it gets confusing. (laughs) We can't really say one thing is right or one thing is wrong because sometimes in England, people do accept the Z. But usually, 
it's an S. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're doing an exam, like we talked about this last time about IELTS and stuff, um, both are accepted, you mm -hmm. see. So like if you're doing your listening test as well, not only the writing, you, they accept a, the, the American spelling or British spelling. So I-S-E or I-Z-E. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you do see things in Britain that are written with Z. Um, yeah, you do. But, like civilization. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. However, like, I guess technically, um, the Z is the American spelling and, and the S is the British one. But the pronunciation is the same because it sounds like a Z anyway. Yeah. It's, it's like eyes, like, for example, recognize, realize. It's always yeah. that Z sound. Yeah. Um, Which is what makes yeah. it more confusing because it does actually sound like a Z. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There are some other spelling differences. Um, for example, things like, um, for example, the word colour. So mm. in Britain, we write it C-O-L-O-U-R. Yeah. So we include a U, but in American, they don't include that U. So it's C-O-L-O-R. Yeah. This is why some um. people say that <laughs> the Americans are lazy. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Because yeah. they drop the letter, you. yeah. Yeah. Mm. So people and it are could probably be in like words like. No, go ahead. People are pro oh, people are probably. The internet froze again. Oh. Uh, people are probably wondering, well, if we can use, you know, both. If they're both accepted, then what do we yeah. do? Like, how do we make a choice? So I suppose mm. the most important thing when it comes to British and American English, especially if you're writing is consistency consistency yeah. is key and what does that mean right. it means if you've used one mm -hmm. continue to use that so if you use british spelling don't then mix it with american spelling right right yeah, yeah that's the that's the main thing especially yeah when it comes to writing and that sort of thing like um we mentioned exams before so anything like that like just be consistent so choose one if you start mm -hmm. in british then continue in british you start in in, with American, continue with American. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, those are a few spelling differences. People are probably um, wondering how yeah. to find out the differences. Um, mm. If you look on places like um, the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, it'll often say, uh, it'll give the American and the British spelling. So, for example, with a word like recognise, it will write it with a Z and then it will say in brackets, also British English. And then mm. it will give the spelling with an S. So that's one way of knowing, you know, if you want to look it up. That's right. Yeah, that's a very good technique. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what about, for example, grammar? Um, mm, word choice. Yeah. So is there anything that you know about that, um, you know, us Brits use more than the Americans? Oh, this is opening a can of worms. Here we go. There's a nice phrase <laughs> for our listeners. So, mm -hmm. as we said before, it's very difficult for anybody to say definitively that, you know, American version is right and the British version is wrong or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. We can't really say that because if millions and millions of people are using one version, can we really say it's wrong? Especially if everybody understands what they're saying, right? So often it's just a case of your word against her word against, what is it? Your word against mine. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. what I'm talking about is things like the use of prepositions. So mm. with the, the little innocent word different, we have three, mm. um, three words we can use with it. So both Americans and British people, we, they, we both say different from. And a lot of people would regard that as correct but British people especially when we talk we say different too mm. and a lot of Americans actually think that this is basically wrong mm. but like I said there's how many millions of billions of trillions of people in England using this word so technically mm. it's right um, mm. some people in England actually um, people like editors or writers they would also argue that even though in spoken language different to is correct it's probably not correct when you when you're writing like an academic essay mm. so but the the real the thing that makes us really argue is the word than <laughs> yes. so americans say different than 
So they might say, for example, her hair is different than my hair. Mm. So what do you think about that, Steph? <laughs> How does that sound I mean, to you? It sounds incorrect in my to me yeah (laughs) it sounds so wrong doesn't it it just doesn't it doesn't work for me like than is used with comparatives like yeah bigger than smaller than more expensive than yeah different than i don't know it doesn't really work in my that's yeah that's the thing that people (laughs) some people say that actually okay different to and different from that's just a choice they both make sense yeah But a lot of people actually say, okay, yes, I know millions of Americans say different than, but actually it's not grammatically correct because, like Mm. you said, we use than with comparatives and Mm. her hair is different than my hair isn't a comparative. If we said Mm. her hair is um, longer than my hair, that would be okay. Or her hair is more different, that's okay. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So it's up to you. (laughs) Yes, yes. I mean, it is a bit confusing because... Um, what comes naturally to me is different too. Mm. Um, but I know that like when I learned about this at, at my school, we, we were taught similar to different from. From, yeah. So that's kind of the one you should be using. However, it also depends on like what you hear around you, right? I mean, exactly. we Brits listen to American stuff, um, yeah. also British stuff, you know, like, um, radio, TV, film series, etc. And we probably hear both of them and kind of just, it just kind of filters into our own speech, I suppose. And that's exactly how language changes. That's probably how different yeah. than came about because essentially we just, we copy each other, don't we? Like right. there's, there are loads of American words that are being used more and more in British English. For example, nowadays people say fire a lot more than sack. Ah, uh, yes, that's true, actually. It's actually an yeah. American word. Mm, mm. An Americanism, they say. Right. Do you think that they have Britishisms, though? That's what I'd like to oh, know. Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, <laughs> probably not. Like... <laughs> I think they just make fun of us because they think our accent is hilarious. <laughs> oh, goodness. And that is actually a very good um, point because our pronunciation is different too, isn't it? It Aha. is. <laughs> so um, <laughs> the main, I think... The most noticeable difference is the R, the The letter R. R. Yeah. Um, Because, like, in British English, when we have a a word, especially a word ending in R, so final R, we tend to um, drop the R, so we don't pronounce it, and instead we lengthen the previous, like, vowel sound. Mm. So, for example, the the word C-A-R, we would say car. 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 So the R is long. So it's mm. a long vowel. But in American English, they would say car. So they car. would... R- they say the R. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they pronounce that R at the end, which is really... Probably you can tell, like, it's really unnatural for me to say that. <laughs> but that's actually why it's easier for people to learn American English, because it's a lot more obvious. They can yeah. actually hear the end of the word. But in British, we just kind of True. cut things off. And it actually can sound like a completely different word like I had an Mm. American friend my god she used to make fun of me so much because (laughs) like the word water she would say water yeah yeah but I would say water and she was like that's a different word (laughs) no it is the word (laughs) you're just pronouncing it differently okay (laughs) water and hair she used to say she was like that's not a word that's just a a sound hair Uh. (laughs) Because they would say hair, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that sort of thing. That's another one, the middle T, like water. We pronounce the yeah. T, don't we? But they kind of, I don't that know what you call into, that sound, but it's like a l, the water, water. It turns into a D, really. Kind of, yeah, kind of like, yeah, a, like a D, water. And also like bottle, like we would say bottle and they would say bottle, like that. Bottle. So, bottle, yeah. yeah, bottle. <laughs> A bottle of water. And because of that, the vowel sounds often change as well. Like we say o, oh, bottle, but they say because the um, because it's longer and they use the D sound, it turns mm. into a a oh, bottle. It's very different. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so, yeah, lots of differences. Is there anything else we wanted to add on that today? Um, 
just regarding the R, another way you can mm. look it up is also in the Oxford Learner's Dictionary. Um, it yes. often, on the pronunciation section, so with the phonemic chart, it often has, mm. if you see the R in brackets, Yeah. that's why. That's why, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if it's in brackets, it means that in British English, we, well, some accents, we, we don't pronounce that R, and in others... Mm -hmm. We do, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, nice. we keep saying British English, but the truth is that there are many accents in Britain and the UK, and some of them do actually use the R, like some True. Scottish accents, they do Irish. So I think that's another podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we're talking about like kind of, I guess, standard British or like kind of RP, received pronunciation, yeah. you know. London, like... kind of south, south of England, BBC English, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we'll have to wrap up here for today. What do you yes. say? Yes. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Well, have a lovely weekend. You too. Enjoy buying your non-essentials. Thank you. I'll be very happy with my plant pots. <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> and I will see you next week. See you next week. And let us know in the comments if you've uh, come across any interesting uh, American words or british words or different pronunciation mm -hmm. or if you find anything a bit strange or interesting let us know yeah definitely definitely that would be great cool okay well i'll see you soon take care of yourself take care shame i don't weekend. know how to say sh uh, goodbye in hebrew i'll learn it for next week all right cool i don't know it by the way <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> i'll just make something up you'll be none the wiser <laughs> mm, exactly all right take care see you soon take care bye bye bye